All right, this is my cowboy story. Our cowboy's name is Turk, and he sits on the Tela Turksica, and he clings onto the anterior clinoid process and leans back on the posterior clinoid process. He looks out through the optic canal, and he sees the optic nerve and the ophthalmic artery. And the cowboy's riding along. He's looking for a good place to fish. A super place to fish and there he finds the superior orbital fissure and when he's fishing he caught everyone that was fat and they weighed three four and six pounds so here you got v1 lymphatics and cranial nerves three four and six now he's looking around he looks out over the valley over the foramenal valley where he watches over his three cattle and you've got cranial nerve three right here um, next to his saddle, he keeps his lasso, and you got the frame of the serum, which he oils with petroleum, and you'll find the deep petrosal nerve. Um, so in front of him, he'll stick his round V2 Air Jordans into the frame and rotundum, and that's where V2 Will pass. Um, for his horse, he keeps a carrot, and we'll, we'll find that in the carotid canal, which you can't quite see because it's the Z shape. Um, then end up behind the saddle, you'll find the jugular foramen where he keeps his jelly beans, and uh, he really likes jelly beans, so he usually eats handfuls of 9, 10, or 11 jelly beans. And then you'll find cranial nerves 9, 10, and 11. Now, to ride faster, he spins his spurs, and you'll find the frame and spinosum, and he kicks his horse many times, and that's where you'll find the meningeal artery. Now, Turk carries a gun, so down the bezeler part, you'll find his magnum, and it's got at least 11 shots, and that's where cranial nerve 11 goes, and he keeps it nice and shiny. Nice and glossy, uh, we're going to find the hypo hypoglossal nerve on both sides. Hope that was helpful.